All right, let's get these guys introduced. Oh, barely fits through. Glad I got the smaller one. We're gonna put these guys towards the back here. I will bring the food for them, have them have a little food and some water. These guys are freaking out. It's okay. This will introduce them. It'll allow these to get used to, these chickens to get used to these. <laughs> Scared the, you know what, out of them. Pooping all over the place, but that's okay. We just wash off that base. So we're only gonna do this for maybe an hour or two today. And then maybe every day try to increase the amount of time out here to get them used to them. And we'll see what this rooster does. I wanna sit here and watch. I don't think the rooster or any of these other chickens are gonna be able to get their head in there and bother with them. If I do have a problem with that, I can put chicken wire around this. But I don't think that's gonna be an issue. Let's step back here and see what goes on. So they are about four and a half weeks old. Not quite ready to be out here full time. That's six weeks. We've got a week and a half or so. They aren't fully feathered out, but they're getting close. They definitely are small and I might have to wait until they get big enough. So it might even be longer than six weeks, but at least they can be out here, kind of see the other chickens, get used to them. I'm gonna go get their water. So one thing I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna feed them some scratch grain, the actual chickens here, just to get them kind of preoccupied a little bit, not worrying too much about them and worrying about kind of eating. Now, excuse this hen, by the way, the rooster kind of pulled off all the, you know, from basically mating with her, uh, pulled off all the feathers on her back tail end also, this rooster, they peck him on the tail as well. So they're both, I wouldn't say injured, they're both um, got some feathers missing, but they'll be all right. All right, so I got their water there. They can drink some water. I'm gonna give them a little bit of food here. And I'm just gonna drop it in the bottom. Oh, they're all scared. Oh, it's okay. So there we go. Now they can eat. And I need to keep an eye a little bit. They are terrified right now, but good, one's eaten. And obviously they are much smaller, nowhere near the same size. In another week or two, they're gonna get probably double that size. And then, I mean, they'll still be smaller than these, but <laughs> I think he's trying to do his little dance that he does with the females. That's funny. A little young for you, bud. Now, hopefully there's no males in there. There's no roosters. If there is, then they're, you know, that rooster will be in big trouble. But I don't think until the rooster gets of, you know, a certain age, it won't be fighting with this rooster. So once we realize that there's a rooster, we can go ahead and take care of that rooster. He is really interested. I don't know if that's a good or bad thing. Oh, buddy. Actually, one of those is hers. The darker one there. And then this lighter colored black and white one is, well, the Cucumaran's not out here, but that's Cucumaran's baby with him. The kind of brownish colored one is that one's baby. And then the really light one is, we lost the other hen that was associated with that. Um, that was a silver phoenix, just like he's a silver phoenix. That rooster's really interested in wanting to get in. It's all right, bud.
As long as I know he can't stick his head in there, which I think he can through this. We might need to figure something out. Uh-oh. That was close. <laughs> All right guys, so today is six weeks and one day since these guys hatched. And they're still not quite ready to be released because this guy, he's still really interested in them. However, things have gotten a little better. So today they've been out since 8 a.m. It's now 11, so a good three hours and they're starting to kind of not care, these guys. Um, they're just kind of ignoring them. I brought their water out and their food and kind of going to let them hang out all day here. And hopefully they kind of start to get used to each other. I was bringing them back in after about, you know, 30 minutes to an hour uh, before because I had to stand and watch. I was afraid that he would get in and get one. But I watched and uh, he tried to peck a couple and I don't think he could reach them. So I figured, you know what? I'm gonna let them be out here. Uh, they need to kind of get accustomed to each other. So if one gets injured, one gets injured, I guess, and they'll learn to stay away. Uh, they're getting huge, guys. I mean, definitely not the size of the full grown chicken, but look at that one right there, standing on top of the, uh, that one's the biggest for sure. But um, all the others are still still pretty big, except for the, the silver. The silver is the smallest, of course, because that's a bantam breed, but they're all doing good. So for the past week, We've been bringing these guys out to kind of introduce them to the rest of the flock here. And this flock is still overly interested. This rooster, I think, really does not like them. And they're like probably around seven and a half, maybe even eight weeks now old. We really want them out of our house, but if I introduce them now, they're probably gonna get killed. This rooster is not liking them don't want them around and I'm not sure what to do. So they've been staying out now all day. So I bring them out in the morning. Right now is pretty early. It is nine o'clock in the morning. I brought them out about an hour ago at eight and that's what I usually do. And then I bring them back inside around 4.30, five, right before dinner. And I can't get the rooster to be okay with them. Now the hens kind of are okay. As you can see, they're interested, but they're not aggressive. They're just coming up and looking and trying to see what's going on. But when he comes near, he gets a little clucky and kind of ruffling his tail feathers there and tries to peck at them and he's gotten them a couple times with the pecks but luckily they're in a cage so he can't get to them and hurt them too bad but he really is not stoked about them now when i'm standing here he's fine but it's when i walk away when i go inside and he doesn't think i'm around he gets a little more brave and comes and tries to bother with them I'm really not sure what to do but we're gonna keep on doing this. Um, I talked to some people over at Tractor Supply actually that knew and they said, yeah, after a couple weeks, they should be all right. So uh, we'll see, I might give it another week. And if not, we'll just introduce them and see how it goes. Might have an issue. Um, one might die, two might die, I'm not sure. They might get attacked. Can't wait to get them out of my house. This is a pain, bring them back and forth and then they smell. All right, so. We have the little babies out, and there was a couple pecks. I mean, granted, the babies are staying far away from the adults, but it's seeming okay. Now, the rooster every once in a while has been going over and trying to bother with them a little bit, but he's not, he's not super aggressive with them, so that's good. Hi, Mom. Oh, got a little peck, but... Really? See? And they just leave them alone after that. Of course, they're eating their baby food, but... So I don't believe the hens are going to kill these, only the rooster. And the rooster went in to eat, so we decided to lock it up while it was in there. Alright, so we had a little bit of an issue. It got attacked. Some of the hens are... There. Yeah, some of the hens are kind of pecking at the babies, but it settled down just now, so that's good. I just jumped in the, the yeah the dirt 
It's supposed to be mud, I sure. It's supposed to be mud, but oh, good. Dog. They're acting happy and normal. She left them alone. She did. <laughs> hey, man. Hey. Hey, dude. You can't kill him. Mm -hmm. And he, it's just because he doesn't know the dynamic yet. But he's not killing them like he would a dog. Mm -hmm. The dubs, he doesn't, he doesn't stop chasing them. So this is pretty amazing. They're huddled up in the corner. And um, I mean, even when they come up, they get scared. But no one's been really actively trying to peck them in the last little bit. They're just kind of walking up and introducing themselves. They're getting scared and that's about it. The rooster still, he's a little bit, a little bit aggressive, but this is going pretty good. Um, it's been about 30 minutes that they've been in there. I mean, they kind of got used to each other a little bit before, so. Well, check it out, guys. The chicks are out and they've been out. Uh, they actually are now spending the nights in the coop and they are getting along sort of so i've got some scratch grain here i'm going to show you kind of what happens so they're fine with being out but look at the rooster he chases them away look at that um whenever they're eating and that's it other other than that he's fine with them being in here he just doesn't want them taking the food of his other hens so they're pretty much part of the family now, part of the flock, except for this. But otherwise, when there's no food, he's totally fine with them. And in fact, he lets them in the coop at night. They spend the nights in the coop, but they're quick enough to get away from him. He, he basically just kind of gets them chased off when they're eating. If he notices it right now, he's not seeing it, but they're in. So it took a while. <laughs> it really did. I still got this here just in case we have a problem, but it's been maybe about four or five days that they've been out. So I'll probably today remove this now because it's not needed anymore. It did take a long time. They are pretty old now, almost to the size of the, the hens, maybe a little smaller, um, definitely a little smaller, but pretty close. But they're able to get away. They're part of the flock, so I'm pretty happy about that. But I've got something else going on here. Right in there. This hen over on that side, on the left there, that one is broody. That one is sitting there. It's been sitting there for now uh, since midday yesterday, all the whole time till now. So she's brooding. I had forgotten to collect some eggs for a couple days and she's getting broody. She decided to sit, so we might have even more chicks, which I'm not sure what to do here because we don't have the room for all of them. However, I'm pretty confident that this one right here, the multicolored one there, that is a rooster. We can see we've got the cape feathers or whatever they're called coming down. They're getting long. Also, the tail is starting to curve down. And he also, this one acts a little bit more roostery. Pretty sure that one's a hen. It's possible this is a rooster as well, but might not be. I am noticing some of the feathers curving down. And unfortunately, same with that, but I'm pretty sure that's a, that's a hen, not a rooster. So it's possible this is a hen as well, but that one does have a large comb. So we might have to get rid of one or two of these anyway, and then we'll be able to you know, we'll have a chicken dinner, I guess. Unfortunately, this is the prettiest one, so pretty. But we can't have two roosters because he will fight. And he'll probably kill this one, although this one might get bigger. So he might, this one might kill that one. I'm not sure what would happen. But we do have most likely a, a rooster. I'm gonna let this one grow out just a little bit longer until we start seeing some issues and then and then we'll have a chicken dinner. It's been a long process getting these guys, but they're now incorporated into the flock. And I'll bring you guys back in a couple weeks when her eggs uh, hatch and she brings them out. So we'll see what happens um, with that. Hopefully she doesn't die. It's been hot, it's 100 degrees. So mo most every day I've been, I put a little bit of water in there. Let's see if I can show you. So, oh, sorry, hen. 
but you can see I've got this. I had to bring in, uh oh. So it's just gonna knock it off, but I have this holding the water and hopefully it gives her the ability to drink. I got I gotta put you guys down for a second. So there we go. So basically I took a piece of wire and I was able to hang that thing in there and give her some water. Hopefully she can drink because it is hot and she needs it or she will die. Anyway, there we go. We'll have some more chicks soon, which might mean that we need to get another run. I don't know what's gonna happen. So after about two months, three months, they're finally incorporated. Well, thanks for watching everyone. If you guys like this kind of content, please subscribe and hit that bell notification for future video updates. Also, if you could hit the like button, it would really help me and the channel out. I will see you on the next video. Now you guys try to escape the daily grind.